the horrific news out of Russia, where the terrorist group ISIS-K has claimed responsibility for an attack that has taken over 130 lives at a popular concert hall near Moscow. This same terror group also claimed responsibility for the attack that killed 13 American service members in Afghanistan in August of 2021, and another attack in Iran earlier this year that killed nearly 100. American intelligence officials tell us that the United States warned Russia that they had received information that ISIS-K was plotting an attack in Moscow. It was a warning considered so serious that the U.S. Embassy put out a security alert on March 7th saying that it was monitoring reports that extremists had imminent plans to attack large gatherings, including concerts. Vladimir Putin spoke out about the attack this weekend and appeared to suggest, with absolutely no evidence, that Ukraine was somehow involved. All of this is raising concerns about what ISIS-K may do next. We begin this morning with this week co-anchor Martha Raddatz. And we do have to warn you, some of the images are disturbing. This morning, the smoldering aftermath of one of the deadliest terror attacks in Russia's recent history at one of the largest concert and shopping complexes in the country. Four ISIS terrorists armed with automatic weapons, slaughtering at least 130 men, women and children and injuring hundreds more. Two of the men taken into custody by the Russians, shown on state TV, but not independently verified. The armed men making their way into the concert hall, killing anyone in the way. The audience inside just arriving for a rock concert when they heard the gunfire erupt. People shocked, screaming, rushing to get out, trying to hide under the seats. All the while, hearing the relentless, terrifying burst of automatic weapons fire. This concert I witnessed saying the terrorists were not shooting at the ceiling, not into the air, but shooting directly into the crowd of people. Another witness saying when the shooting was over, the ISIS gunmen hurled Molotov cocktails inside the complex. Within minutes, black smoke and flames pouring from the facility trapping many inside and caving in the roof. Russian President Vladimir Putin addressing the nation Saturday, not ever mentioning ISIS, instead blaming Ukraine for the attack with no evidence, claiming the four gunmen were heading towards Ukraine when they were caught, this despite ISIS taking credit for the attack and the U.S. confirming it was the Islamic terror group responsible. And Martha Raddatz joins us now. So, so Martha, let, let's begin with Putin's claim that they apprehended the suspects as they were headed towards Ukraine. There is nothing tying this attack to Ukraine. Absolutely nothing tying it to Ukraine. And he said they were, they were apprehended going in the direction towards Ukraine, which is hundreds and hundreds of miles away. So that is not exactly a great escape plan for, for whoever did this. And what do we know about ISIS-K, and why would they attack Russia? I, I think that's the first question I had as well, John. Why, who, what are they doing? ISIS-K is, is just a branch, an affiliate of ISIS. It's all the bad guys. They do not like Russia. They want revenge. Russia sides with the Taliban in Afghanistan, which is where ISIS-K is from. And they also think they have mistreated Muslims, anyway, the kind of Muslims that ISIS-K likes. What, what about this warning that the U.S. says that they gave Russians a, ahead of time? That, that I mean, it was oddly specific. They seem to have really good intelligence that something this was going to happen. But we've also heard from the Russian ambassador to the United States denying that there was a, a tip-off given. What, 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 what's the truth here? What's the the U.S. U.S. officials say are adamant about this. And as you know, John, it was a public warning that something would happen in Russia, a very specific warning in a concert hall, they thought. This came out on March 7th. The, the United States did what's called duty to warn. They did this to Iran uh, a couple of years ago when there was a terrorist attack there By as, ISIS well. as well. A exactly. It's a duty to warn. If we have intelligence that people are going to be injured, we will tell them. The Russian ambassador is saying they didn't get it. Putin poo-pooed all of the warnings at the time. None of this is good for Vladimir Putin. All right, Martha, thank you very much.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.